So okay, now that you're done actually hexing the models, which I just did, now it's time to hex the sounds. Now, this is pretty easy too. And you re delete these. All you have to do with this is rename things. So, what I recommend doing is instead of having, if you're doing a massive pack of things and you have a ton of sounds, it's best to actually rename the weapons. So you can do, say, weapons my first three initials. And then you're good to go with that. Instead of having to go in and edit all these, or edit this, you can just edit that and be done with it. And throw everything in there. Now, there's something that you're going to have to learn, which is called scripts. What I like to do is, I like to take all these and edit them into one big Lua file. Now, this has changed. Be aware of this. This has changed from the most recent updates in GMod 13. GMod 12, 11, 10, and 9 use this form right here, and you'd be done. But GMod 13, you have to make a table, which there are multiple examples on doing that. And actually, I'll post a little example in the description to help you guys out. But this is basically what it's made up of the single bolt back clip out clip in bolt forward safety now that I mean you may think this is cr bullshit you know what do you need this for well it's referenced in the model very important you can't just blow this off see you have all this right in here that you're gonna have to edit now this isn't too hard I mean I just used the tool XVI32 from last video so what you wanna do is make sure that you rename these to be unique. Please, for the love of God, do this. Because it drives me insane when nobody ever does it. So, you can do something like Wepos, Wepm, anything like that. You only have to change really one letter. Just make sure to do it. So, I can rename them all to Wepos. So I'm going to do that right now. And then you're done. That's it. That's all it is. So you can exit out of that. And make sure to change them in here. Because this is going to be copied and pasted over. Not a really good way of doing that unless you. All right. So now that that's done, I'm going to give you the example of a script. I have that in one of my most recent things. It is under the auto run function. So you want to have a shared file right here, shared Lua file, and all you need is that, which you can change and put whatever value in there, and you need to have these include and you have to have the directory where you have the sound files. Simple as that. So I'm going to open this one right here. This is basically what it looks like. That's it. Just a bunch of Lua tables. So, say you want to take this and put it in here. Well, I'm just going to give you an example of doing it. All right. <clears throat> So just copy and paste, with the exception that when you get to something like this right here, that's for a table for two of them. And since there's only one fire sound, you only need one. So I'm just going to copy that with the one fire sound and paste it over here. Now, fire sounds are in channel 1. They have the level of 140 decibels, volume is 1. Compatibility attenuation of 0.27 and pitch is always the same, 95, 105. I don't ever mess with that. Now, you can change it to what this is. It doesn't really matter right now. No big deal. So, you want to copy and paste this over. Now, only problem is the slashes, the direction of the slashes matter. 
happened like before, they did not. So you have to make sure to change those around. And you have to make sure to change that, or else it will not reference anything and you'll get errors in your console. So, you get the idea. Copy, paste it all over, and things like that. Otherwise, say if you want to do a reload sound, you have to put this in right here. And you have to put this in right here. Now, reload sounds are different. They're on channel 3. They have a lower level, same volume, lower compatibility, higher compatibility attenuation, sorry, and the same pitch. So, I want to switch these over. And that's it. Save it, and you're done. All right. I think that's everything that I had to go over with doing sound hexing. So, rate, comment, subscribe all those good little things that everybody loves, and that is it for this video. See you next time.